Well, I'm cold, I'm tired, hungry, and I'm thirsty. I've worked on this thing for about three hours, and it looks good. Um, I can't get the angle right, but it, it looks it looks it looks decent. Um, I didn't want to, or I, I wasn't worrying about keeping the some of the bumps and everything too even just because I'm going over it with some stucco and that I'm gonna color so that way we can it's not just a cement color but anyways I made a pretty big mistake and I don't know how it's going to affect anything but I lined the mold with plastic but when I put this on the the platform yesterday I never put plastic down so um, I don't know if this is going to be released. I'm I'm sure I can uh, I'm sure I can um, tap it away a little bit, but you know I'm not exactly sure how the the structure how strong the structure is. So, but I'm going to let this sit for a few weeks, and we'll see how we go. So the general form is done. Uh, sorry for my voice. I'm uh, recovering from the flu, but this is all—it's all held by its own weight here, or own own structure. Uh, there's a few areas where I need to thicken up a little bit. It's just a little bit of uh, touching here and there. But fortunately, um, I came out here to take the door off, or the the form for the doorway, and I realized that the the stove just lifted right off of the MDF board and it wasn't curing very well on the bottom just yet here because it was still pretty moist here so I just took advantage of it and just took it off while it was still a little wet and it's nice and rough underneath here so that way when I build the bottom platform I'll be able to have a nice rough edge for it to stick through but the only thing I need to finish on here in terms of uh, like your my bottom coat is the stack here is the smoke stack uh, I don't want to come out here and work on it too much just because I'm still sick and it's supposed to be really cold over the next um, few weeks and I don't want to have any water and, and anything in there freezing and while it's supposed to be drying so I'm gonna just hold off on this until about March when it starts to get in the steady 30s and in my garage here it's about 40 degrees but anyways so I've got the form out the form came right out <coughs> excuse me and then here's in the inside here so you can see that it looks nice and clean here now the part that you see shiny that's the part that, uh, that's some of the Portland and perlite mix that was a little wet, a little extra wet, which was fine. Uh, I'm, I have no qualms with that. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through the inside here and put another thin coat of uh, perlite and, or not perlite, but of um, uh, stucco and have this be nice and smooth and everything on the inside. So i just clean it off a little bit. And then um, the same material that I'm going to use, the same, uh, uh, it's not stucco, I'm sorry, it's the, the I can't remember the heck, I can't, I'm sorry, I can't remember the name of it, but you put it on the outside of brick to make everything look nice and smooth. Maybe that is considered stucco too. But anyways, I'll uh, put it on the inside here, and then on the outside, we'll smooth everything out nice and even, and we'll color it. I'm not sure if we're going to do terracotta or if we're going to do red. <laughs> I might just do red because it'll match the brick of the house. So, and this should, this will be able to, we can move this. So, as of right now. So, if, uh, so when Anna and I move, all we need to do is take the main frame or take the main unit, put it up on a, a frame like this, and just strap it down and just transport it carefully to wherever we're going to go. Um, so, but that original form that I made, the plaster form, that didn't survive. That, that sucker came right out of there. I'm surprised it survived as long as it did with the cement here. Um, but it did its purpose, so if I want to keep doing this, I'm going to have to make something out of uh, fiberglass. But 
And this doorway here, definitely big enough for the pizza peel to fit in. And yeah, that's it for right about now. The stove has been curing now. It's completely dry. <clears throat> it's been curing now for uh, two, uh, I think two to three weeks. I think it's actually been more like three weeks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make every attempt to try and flip this because I want to get underneath here and really put another nice coat on the inside here. Well the flip was successful. It's a lot easier than I thought it would or it would be. Uh, the first time I picked this up it was still really heavy because it had all that water on it. Um, but yeah. So this is about how thick it is currently. There's my thumb. Um, but I'm going to go through here and and go ahead and put a nice even coat and everything around here and uh, pretty much just like right around where it's you know really really gonna be heated and everything so it's nice and thick but yeah it's nice it's uh it's pretty nice I was surprised that this held up over or with the the mold so alright well I'm gonna get to mixing and start laying all this on here <laughs> 